Relative value of $100. A state-by-state -state analysis of the relative value of... Who's on a $100 bill? Oh, Benjamin. Wow, I knew that. Yeah. The value of the Benjamins. I'm actually really disappointed in myself. And of course, my home state is one of the most expensive states. $100 only gets you technically 89 just because everything is so jacked up here. Number one is New York, though. Pretty much makes sense to me. Oh, wait. No, no, no. DC. DC 84? DC is that expensive? But here's the thing. Here's the funny thing is I went from Alabama, the place where $100 almost gives you the most bang for your buck, to one of the most expensive. What am I doing? Why did I leave Alabama? I don't mind marrying my cousin. That was never a deal breaker for me. It looks like Mississippi is the least expensive sp state at 115 for every Benjamin. I tried to make a topographic pie. Okay, th that right there, the topographic part. You could have just made a pie in the shape of the U.S. Okay, but you tried to do the impossible task of making it topographic, including all the mountains and the rough terrain. You didn't do bad. I mean, right? Kind of. This is just completely flat, I thought. I see like some mountainy, some hills. I, I, I guess. What part of the pie we're trying to eat first? Wow, all right, hold on. So it'd be longer to drive from this northern Swedish city to this southern Swedish city. That would take longer than to just drive from this southern Swedish city to Rome. You gotta go through Germany and Austria and that's a faster route? Is it have to, I bet you has to do with like maybe the terrain isn't that like great? Like are they really keeping up with this infrastructure up here? It's like snowy and like moose poo poo everywhere. You run into that and your car's not gonna have a good time. Also, I'm assuming the mountains have something to do with it. Although you have to pass by the Alps through here. Oh yeah, the no speed limit in Germany. That makes a big bonus. <laughs> Primary quotation marks in European languages. Primary quotation marks? Are you talking about those little things? Those little commas that fly? Wait, what the hell? Not everyone uses flying commas? Well, Iceland has ground commas, and then other ones are flying. What is this bracket stuff? Who's using brackets? Russia, a lot of Eastern Europe, France, Spain, brackets? Are you guys trying to speak 4chan? Okay, some countries just have the commas facing in different directions. Okay, whatever. Italy uses both. This is actually blowing my mind. I've never seen anyone on the internet say, like, that just doesn't seem right. There's something about that that just doesn't feel right. Beautiful Japan with their beautiful little symbols for all their, uh, principal- What are these, states or principalities? I don't know. I love that they're so, like, uniform. Like, see, America, we could have this, but y'all are messing around. Literally every chance I get, I'm gonna flame on the states that have shit flags. Let's get it together. How are we supposed to go to Mars if we don't even have uniform symbols throughout our territories? Oh, here's another one. Kingdom of the Netherlands? Wait a second. There's a difference? Not to be confused with Holland. Yeah, I used to do that and people get mad. So there's the Dutch Caribbean within the realm of Kingdom of the Netherlands. Yeah, there's all those islands, the ABC islands, SSS islands. Oh, I forgot about them. Okay, but main Netherlands, this is what I'm thinking. There's European Netherlands and then there's, wait, I am really confused. What is this? So Holland is just a territory within the Netherlands. It has 12 provinces provinces. Holland makes up two provinces. Oh, that's all you had to say. That's all I cared about. Grand Canyon uh, topo map. I've never been to the Grand Canyon, so I don't even know if I can confirm if this is actually what it looks like. I'm just gonna take this guy's word for it. Why does it look like Mars? It kind of looks like Mars to me. Oh, nice. They at least have different... Okay, good. That makes it a lot easier, the different colors and shades. I'm assuming this takes like 10 hours, right? Wow. All right, yeah, that's pretty cool. Countries who call it football versus soccer. Oh, I didn't know Australia and New Zealand also called soccer, so it's not just us. Wow, a lot of these South African- Wait, South Africa calls it soccer? Okay, well, why is it so uniform throughout the old British colonies? Why are you guys mad when we call it soccer when the Brits did this to themselves? I am- this is crazy. Food bold? Greenland, what the hell are you guys smoking over there? I thought it was just one of those things that only America had the weird problem. Now this makes me feel a little, like- more encouragement. Freak it. Let's just keep calling it soccer. If we got this many people behind us, I don't want to change it anymore. I stand my ground. Average class size in primary school. So in elementary school, this is how many kids per class. In the UK, they have the most with 26 little kindergartners running around. That does seem like a lot. Like I get you could like slap a couple of them into submission, but not 26 of them. Jeopardy! Daily double heat map. Now if you've seen just two episodes of Jeopardy, you know it's never in these first two rows. It's always in the bottom three, but this is claiming that it's more than likely going to be here in the category one, fourth row down. It's actually usually in the fourth row and not in the fifth. GDP concentration. Counties in yellow concentrate 50% of the country's GDP. Is there like a little dot there for Denver? Is that Denver right there? I am so surprised that that far inland contributes in California. Like this is like desert. There's nothing over here. I get Vegas. Florida got a lot of spots. Texas got a couple spots. Interesting that nothing west of Texas is that profitable. World countries labeled as correctly sized rectangles. So if the country was rect- Why does this remind me of like Agari? 
Agario. Agario with squares. Is this every nation? It doesn't look like they're all labeled. I've seen a lot of little squares that don't have any font over them. Disappointed. Yeah, you, you really can't do Russia that well. Russia would take up a lot of space. I like this long chili. That looks like a great piece in Tetris. Oh, you know you're about to get a big high score when chili comes down. Visualization of Switzerland's population density in 2020. And that is because all of this is the Alps. Those are massive mountains that you just can't live in. Actually, you should be a little bit more afraid because those people that live in the Alps, those are some hardcore people. Those are scary. Either that or that is some Yeti walking around the snow. Let's get to the bottom of this. I'm sick of this. The British Isles, what are they exactly? So the British Isles is the word for everything. That's why I use these words. Whenever I talk about that part of the map, I just call it the British Isles. Then within that, we have Ireland, the island, and then Ireland the state. Wait, Ireland is also the island's name? I actually was afraid to say anything. I didn't know, but for years I've been too afraid to ask. And then everything else is pretty straightforward, except for, I forget about the islands, the British islands, the Isle of Man, whatever the hell that is, and then Jersey? So the Isle of Man is like smack dab right in the middle, I get it. You also have apparently sea land out here. I recognize you, senpai. Oh, you talking about these things? Oh, those islands. Whoa, what the, I don't think I need to know this information, but I am very curious. Because we have the plane starting off here in 15, maybe 10,000 to 15,000 feet, directly over target. So you begin to do this roll. Okay, so you do like a, a twist, a roll, and you're completely upside down. Then you start heading, diving straight down. No, thank you. Long dive gives maximum time to correct aim and give bomb. Oh, wow, that makes sense. Then you gotta get low. How low is this? I guess it just depends. 6G pullout? Now that's strong pullout game. This does not seem safe. How to tell a bald eagle's age. Freedom intensifies. Half a year. It's a regular gross ass bird. One and a half. Okay, it's starting to get some like light brown, a little bit of white. Two and a half. What is this? This just looks like a bird on crack. Like they just like poured itself on it. Okay, now it's a little bit more recognizable. Three and a half. Four and a half years. Classic. And then definitive plumage. What the hell is that plumage? How long do these birds even live? Oh, 20 years. That's not too bad. For a bird, isn't that good? The oldest bird bird is this Major Mitchell's cockatoo, and it's a 77-year-old bird. There's no way that thing can fly, right? I feel like its wings have got to be just collecting dust. Stay safe on ice. Walk like a penguin. Normally when we walk, our leg's ability to support our weight is split in the middle. Walking this way on ice forces each leg to support the weight of the body at the angle that is not perpendicular to the surface. Oh, so that's why you gotta walk. Oh, I think I understand this. Different parts of armor. There's so many little pieces to these things. That's the crazy thing. Like putting together a full armor set like in a museum. That's basically like the greatest Lego creation, isn't it? The visor, the helmet, that gets, that makes sense. The fa, the flawed, fod. So a blacksmith would have to come up with all these pieces? Is just one guy or would they have like certain dudes that specialized in the cuisine, the queasy, the, this? It seems like there's a single part that is kind of not protected and that is a very important piece. Source of the most residents born out of state. So for California, the citizens that were born somewhere else are coming from from New York, and that's the case for a lot of these East Coast states too, Florida, North Carolina, Virginia, everything a lot in New England. Uh, New England is big though with Massachusetts as well. So a lot of people are being born in Massachusetts and then traveling and starting to live in New Hampshire, Maine, and Rhode Island. Obviously the big one in the room is California. This is, this is why they hate us. We're moving everywhere. There does seem to be a line. We only go as far as Texas. Is Californians moving to Alaska? That's pretty surprising. I didn't think we could take the cold. This basically comes down to population centers. What is the closest state with the most population? It's clearly the case with Texas too. Bunch of Texans moving to New Mexico, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. I'm super shocked though about Ohio having West Virginia. Are that many people leaving West Virginia or are there not that many people that want to move to Ohio? Like Michigan. I, how is Michigan not number one for Ohio? Percentage of each state's population outside of California born in California. This is like the exact same thing, but this is percentage wise. So again, like we saw last time, all these states majorly impacted. This is also why California is not liked. This doubles as that informative. There is less than 0.7% of West Virginia's population that comes from California. They are the probably the most sacred state. Oklahoma is actually pretty high on this list. I didn't think it was that high. But yeah, Nevada, Oregon, Idaho, they're getting decimated. It's only going to get worse, I swear. California does not like these states though. Same thing, but born in Mexico. Obviously, the states that border Mexico has a lot. Shocking. Surprised to see. Look at Illinois. Chicago? Wouldn't expect that. World GDP divided into two equal portions. Oh my goodness. It's just the US, China, and Japan. The US 
China and Japan make up half of the Earth's GDP. Is this correct? That's crazy. But if you put all of the EU like it as one thing, then I think that that changes, right? Asian elevation tiles. I always see the US version of this, but never the Asian version. Obviously, the Himalayans, huge, the Tibetan t plateau, it's way up there. I'm always shocked at how flat this part of India is, right before it gets like straight up, just jaggedy. Central Asia also very flat too. Probably why it's so easy to conquer that. Country outline progression. So this is Norway with 10 sides. Norway with 20 sides. With 50, with 100, with 200, with 500. That's just Norway. So you only need 500 sides to basically make Norway. Actually, you know what? 200 sides works too. It is weirdly, like, I could recognize it with 10. Oh, well, maybe. It's either that or like a... No, no. 20 sides, maybe two. 50 sides, I think people would recognize it. Here's a diagram showing Indo-European languages, old world language families. They're all connected. Almost all. I mean, Indo-European kind of makes up almost everything. Interesting how different though, like Finnish and Hungarian is and Estonian that so that just went way out there. I really wonder are we heading towards like a future where we only speak maybe three languages? That is a thing, right? I mean, aren't there there are people that like are trying to preserve these languages because they're going extinct. You hear about that all the time, like no one's speaking them anymore. With the internet, yeah, I feel like it could happen. So this is this is a map of that's uh, speaking Ur Lake. Or lack? Euro lick. That is so crazy. I say let's give up on all this stuff and just go for this. Should be easy, right? I'm sure this language is probably really difficult to learn. Why is China not on this list? Approximate area of virgin. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Old growth forest in the continuous United States. So the forest is pretty good in 1620. No wonder there were so many witches running around. They had a bunch of areas to hide to. 1850, not so much. And then right now, the forest is just gone. Cascadia is still holding strong. It's recognizable compared to 400 years ago. Dang, they just cut down every everything over here. It's all gone. This is 1922. Oh, that's kind of scary. Oh, it's, you know, it's so much worse now. Oh, this guy says that there is more forest in the U.S. today than in 1920, and the future is much more, much more promising. Because we're not using mail and paper for everything. So maybe we'll get better. The United States, as James Polk wanted it, the United States would have wanted uh, all of northern Mexico. Baja, California. We should unite the Californians. In a little bit of Yucatan? They wanted the Yucatan, they wanted Cuba. They didn't take anything away from Canada, did they? They just wanted to go south. This would've been cool. Dang it. Hey, we could still do it though, right? It's always a possibility. Comparing two pathfinding algorithms. So this AI has decided to just go in all directions. I mean, I don't really know what it's doing, but it just, it continues to look evenly, I guess. Um, This one just goes for it until, oh, so it just continues to commit to one. Wow. So if you commit to one going forward, you're much more likely to get it to reach the end faster. When does the sun set in European capitals? We're using military time here. So this is going to be very confusing, but I just like this one because Sweden is just black. It's that crazy there. And big thanks to the Turkey patrons. Patrick C. Plebeian Tribune. Julius Cheezer. Can't think of a name. Fusion Wolf. Manny Manny 74. Brawl C. Tree. Douche Baggins. Mac. Rat Smacker 3000. Aryan After Hours. Luxembourg Lover. Mayonnaise Incorporated. Kalofsky, Clevin, Ballin' Like Stalin, Elijah Senpai, and Steps of War. Thank you.